ladies and gentlemen this is the encourager i'm here to you with a another lesson uh, this one's a bit overdue um i do have a playlist on there for the book of revelation i believe and my mistake not revelation <laughs> I guess I'm thinking of Revelation because Daniel does go hand in hand with Revelation. So it is the book of Daniel I'm in. And um, the last um, teaching I did was um, Daniel chapter 7. And I concluded with Daniel chapter 7. And tonight, today, this afternoon... I'm going to continue on with um, Daniel chapter 8. I encourage you to pick up your Bible. It is your instruction manual. And um, it is here to instruct us in all righteousness. And this is your ticket. This is your instruction manual and um, everything you need to know about yourself, about the way the world is run, about your future, about your creator, where you stand, what you need to do, how you need to live, how you need to... Um, um, be with your brethren and absolutely everything that you need to know and understand is in the Bible. These videos are to encourage you to jump in. Um, no one can do this for you. There is no, um, I know in life sometimes we get help in many different ways to do certain things for us and we wherewith we reap the benefits this is one of those i kind of don't want to call it thing but i'm going to say it just for understanding this is one of those things that you absolutely have to do for yourself you have to account for yourself for the time that you've been allotted the time that has been lent to you you have to account for it and it may sound harsh but the intent is not um, I'm hoping that my few words will compel you to pick up the instruction manual so I'm in Daniel chapter 8 and I'm going to be reading and um, just a few words of encouragement at the end. So Daniel chapter 8. And in Daniel chapter 8, um, um, what is recorded here is Daniel's second vision. And um, I'll do my best to go through it. And I do trust that you will follow along in your Bible. In the third year of the reign of King Belshazzar, a vision appeared unto me, even unto me, Daniel, after that which appeared unto me at the first. And I saw in a vision, and it came to pass when I saw that I was at Shushan in the palace, which is in the province of Elam. And I saw in a vision, and I was by the river of Uli. So he's asleep, he's dreaming, he's in a vision. Then I lifted up mine eyes and saw, and behold, there stood before the river a ram which had two horns, and the two horns were high, but one was higher than the other, and the higher came up last. So we're in the vision right now, reading the vision. I saw the ram pushing westward and northward and southward so that no beast might stand before him. 
neither was there any that could deliver out of his hand. But he did according to his will and became great. And I, and as I was considering, behold, a he goat came from the west on the face of the whole earth and touched not the ground, and the goat had a notable horn between his eyes. And he came up to the ram that had two horns, which I had seen standing before the river, and ran unto him in fury of his power. And I saw him come close unto the ram, and he was moved with color against him, and smote the ram and brake his two horns, and there was no power in the ram to stand before him. But he cast down to the ground and stamped upon him, and there was none that could deliver the ram out of his hand. Therefore, the he-goat waxed very great, and when he was strong, the great horn was broken, for it came up, for, and for it came up four notable ones toward the four winds of heaven. And out of one of them came forth a little horn, which waxed exceeding great toward the south, and toward the east, and toward the pleasant land. And it waxed great, even to the host of heaven. And it cast down some of the host, and of the stars to the ground, and stamped upon them. Yes, he magnified himself, even to the prince of the host. And by him, the daily sacrifice was taken away, and the place of his sanctuary was cast down and a host was given him against the daily sacrifice by reason of transgression and it cast down the truth to the ground and it practiced and prospered then i heard one saint speaking and another saint said unto that certain saint which spake how long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot? And he said unto me, Unto two thousand and three hundred days, then shall the sanctuary be cleansed. And it came to pass, when I, even I, Daniel, had seen the vision and sought for the meaning, then, behold, there stood before me as the appearance of a man. So, verse 14, the vision ended, and now Daniel is looking for an interpretation, and here is the interpretation of the dream. Verse 16, and I heard a man's voice between the banks of Uli, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. So he came near where I stood. And when he came, I was afraid and fell upon my face. But he said unto me, Understand, O son of man, for at the time of the end shall the vision be. Now, as he was speaking with me, I was in a deep sleep on my face toward the ground, but he touched me and set me upright. And he said, Behold, I will make you know what shall be in the last day of the indignation, for at the time appointed the end shall be. Now, the ram which you saw having two horns, are the kings of Media and Persia. And the rough goat is the king of Greece. Greece. And the great horn that is between his eyes is the first king. Now, 
that being broken, whereas four stood up for it, four kingdoms shall stand up out of the nation, but not in his power. And in the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the full, a king of fierce countenance and understanding, dark sentences shall stand up. And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper, and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. And through his policy, also he shall cause craft to prosper in his hand, and he shall magnify himself in his heart, and by peace shall he destroy many. And he shall also stand up against the prince of princes, but he shall be broken without hand. And the vision of the evening and the morning which was told is true. Wherefore, shut thou up the vision, for it shall be for many days. And I, Daniel, fainted and was sick many days. Afterward, I rose up and I did the king's business. And I was astonished at the vision, but none understood it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you follow me on this channel, one thing that I do say on here is that Jesus Christ is the revealer of all things. And um, yes, that was um, one of Daniel's vision, and I call it the end of day's vision by Daniel. And... Um, it can be a mouthful to understand and that is why I encourage you to not rush through reading the scriptures so take your time and go through it you will read Daniel's vision he went to bed he fell asleep he was in a deep dream a vision and uh, many are having visions now I believe um, and or dreams but that is going to intensify and um, I believe this vision that Daniel had is relevant to this generation and um, more specifically when he speaks of the um, well the beast of course it didn't say beast here but when he speaks of, let me see here, the, bear with me here, the king of fierce countenance. That's, um, um, this is the interpretation and in, um, verse 23. Now, I am saying beast because um, Daniel is to be read, I believe, in conjunction with the book of Revelation. And um, you will get the clear understanding. Nevertheless, um, Daniel had his vision here and Gabriel came and um, gave him the interpretation. So I really don't have much to say about this particular vision um, I know in previous um, the previous verses that I've um, commented on here in Daniel I believe I did speak about policies are being made laws policies and laws are being drafted up like never before for mankind and um, this vision here that Daniel had had um, and the interpretation was given to him, it's very relevant. But I encourage you to jump in 
the book itself and read. Do not rush through because I know with me just reading through, it was just a bunch of words to you if you were not really following. So I encourage you the, um, to go ahead and read it. Um, I want to point out the beast here um, as shown in verse 23. This beast or this person of great countenance will bring about policies and laws to destroy mankind specifically the chosen children of God, the, the true Israelites. Um, I do believe we are in those days that Daniel, that is referenced in Daniel as end of days. Can you see it? Can you feel it? I do believe we are in those days. So I'm just bringing this scripture to you the book of daniel go through it i'm and just read and the revealer will help you to understand you'll see as you're reading daniel daniel understood who reveals dreams and visions and that uh, you'll see as you read through that he went to the most high he addressed the Most High and he's looking for an interpretation of the visions and the dreams that he received. So you are known different than Daniel. We are known different. We have access to go to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you, if you are reading the book of Daniel, or as I've read, and it seems like it's a bunch of words to you, I guarantee you if you ask the revealer, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, he will bring clarity to you. He is available. Um, let us not underestimate the, um, the sovereignty of the Most High, and we do that a lot. We choose we pick and choose what to take to him, what to say to him, what to ask, what to request. He said, come to me with anything, everything, even if it's I'm heading out to the store. Help me to be wise in um, spending. Let me not be frivolous. It does not matter what it is. If your car is not working, he said, come to me. I absolutely go to the Most High about everything. Everything. I even about um, the meals that I prepare. So Daniel knew who the revelator is. Daniel had a relationship with the Most High. And I encourage you to, if you don't have that relationship, and or if you have that relationship, if you don't have that relationship, set your heart and your mind ready to develop that relationship with the Most High because you absolutely need Him. If you have that relationship, sharpen it every day, hone it every day, do what you need to do, jump in the Word. The more you read, the more you're going to love the Word. You want the more. You are just going to love it. You're just going to want to just get deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into it. I'm at that state. I literally live and dream and think about the Lord and the Bible because I know that the journey that I'm on, he is my destination. And I hope that you can see that too, that you are on a journey and the destination is the most high for all the wonderful things he has for you that you cannot conceive. However, he has given us the instruction manual and it is of great importance that you do not procrastinate. It is of great importance that you do, that you're not being um, presumptuous in saying, okay, I have such time, I have more time, or 
the Lord will overlook. He has given us the instruction manual and that is enough. And you just need to jump in it. Jump in it. Because if you don't, you, you do yourself a disservice and a day will come as it were in the days of Noah and you will be left on the outside. Many are not telling you that, but I am letting you know you have the instruction manual. You have access to it. You look around and your world is changing at lightning speed. And you read the book of Revelation. You read the book of Daniel. You jump into Matthew. You are living in the end of days. And let's say you don't believe me. I challenge you. What have you got to lose? Rather than, other than you're preparing yourself, you're being wise. What have you got to lose? Let's say I'm right. Let's say I'm right. Or, let's say I'm wrong. Consider these things, brethren. And those that don't know, that are picking, that are jumping into this video, these videos are to encourage you. The instruction manual is here for you. We have no excuse. You will not have an excuse to say, I did not know. You cannot play ignorant when it comes to the Lord Jesus Christ because he knows your heart. He knows the, your thoughts even before they come to you. This is a warning. Now, you have the instruction manual. Everything you need and need to know is found in and through the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You read in the instruction manual and you don't seem to get it, don't give up, don't get frustrated. Go to the revealer, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I guarantee you, he will unravel the mysteries in there for you and set you on the path. This is the encourager, encouraging you to know that you are on a journey and it is your journey and no one can do it for you but you. Pick up the instruction manual today and see your destination ahead. Be blessed.